Just fell right through it. No way. Oh, just that was max distance to Tilde. He's very, very lucky in that position. Ends oh. up getting hit off stage. I feel like Zampa's just not oh. finding these edge codes. This could be the end of the game right here, right now. Oh, no punish on that forward air. Unsafe. This could be it. Oh, is that, that is going to be it. That's no inside way. me. It's a forward air. And just like that, Tilde is going to be a Xeno 209 champion. Oof. So that side be on shield. That could have been an up smash. Well, this forward air on shield, that could have that could have been something. That could have been a grab. But Zamba, maybe unsure of the way that uh, Tilde was going to go. Oh uh, didn't want to overcommit in that position, right? Just maybe want to, like, play it safe. Uh, and <laughs> he was already getting off of his seat. Yeah, I don't actually think I've ever seen that. That was like a straight-up Sonic combo right there to close the yep. tournament. Tilde taking first place as the first seed, and Zamba finishing in second place. But what a tournament run it's been for a lot of players here tonight, yep. man. What a great tournament. Yeah, and honestly, this is exactly how last week happened, if I'm not mistaken, right? Tilde, uh, when he said grants, Zamba uh, trying to make the loser who's gone, uh, and then it ends up falling to him once again. I just feel like Tilde has this matchup on, you know... He has it on point. He's able to maximize his damage output. He knows how to constantly catch gob landings. I feel like that is the unsung killer of this match. Just how often he's able to shark, get under gob, and find those up smashes. Which yeah, and the unsafe banana pole gets th thrown off by the mega flare. That's always such a, it's a simple mix up whether or not you throw the mega flare or charge fully to the giga flare. But it is something that characters that have a little bit of setup while off stage. You can force them to respect or even use that air dodge early. Sephiroth definitely wants you to do, especially with that wing on deck. But we haven't even seen the, seen the wing. We've just seen uh, Tweak's own control with the banana. DC drops out of shield much faster than Nair. It's fully utilizing it thanks to the thanks to getting ample time to recover these bananas. And Rivers now has to make the most out of this edge guard if he doesn't want to let, uh, let Tweak run away with this game one. Going to do it right there. Neutral reset once again here. Sephiroth firmly in the lead. Going for a raw down smash option. Think he's gonna Welcome back to Super Super Smash fucking Shockwave. <laughs> you oh great. my god. All oh right, my god. Everybody. <laughs> Everyone, we're back. He said, he said, and I quote, like, man, it, you know what? what? I'm going to open this so well. We're going to do great. And I'm like, all right, Aaron, okay. send it. In my and defense, he instantly messes dude, it up. I forgot it was Instant. super. I forgot. Not, you I... don't get another shot at this. This is your last shockwave. <laughs> I thought it was. I forgot about the super. That's you, the you one don't part get, I need. You don't get another shot at all this. All right. We're live. We are live. I know. We're about to watch Yanni and... <laughs> What's happening back and here? And it's on. Uh, Aeroth, oh, they're giving hearts? Yeah, they're giving hearts, bro. Okay, they shouldn't give me hearts. This, I just messed like that. This is like instantly scuffed. Hello, chef. Oh, my. Uh, okay, anyways, we got some more Smash Ultimate action for you. I can butcher in one intro. I get one, okay? I get one. Everybody gets one. All right, anyways. Good job at mixing up the landings, though. F tilt, not gonna get it. And DG's oh shake. No, no. No, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> no fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way. That is no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a job. That hits. We take those. What the heck? What? Oh my god, that did not just happen. Fuck this, dude. I'll take the loss. I'll take the loss. I'm not playing on this. This connection sucks. Yeah. 
<laughs> Everybody say shut shut your ass up, Chippy, in the comments, you know? I know, I know. It's my first rodeo, but it's not my first time watching. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and ring the bell. But Light saying, no more of that. That's, dude, this is what I'm saying. Is these lasers are so good. I love seeing it from light because usually he's all forward, forward, forward. But the occasional laser every once in a while, I don't think he has a jump here. This is actually really dangerous. Forward smash. Are forward you kidding smash. me? Oh, yep. Go high. Headshot there from light. Very nice. I like that. Don't even go anywhere near that laser. It's death. There. Oh, he doesn't get it. Great. Mix up on the tech there from Mars. It's crazy. Light. He can, he can afford those. He can afford about four more of those up smashes whipping for sure. Uh -huh. He's okay. Forge. Oh my god. That's I'm glad that shit don't kill. It okay, should. It should be a stock. But like, connecting it though. I'm glad it does. Let me give you a very simple uh, breakdown or a summary of what you can kind of like get fixated on, on working on a little bit more. Um, to kill, don't think about how you want to kill or what you should be pressing to kill. Don't, don't get tunnel vision on the option that you want to press. It's not about you. It's about outplaying me still. So if I'm jumping a okay. lot, you punish me by jumping. If I'm shielding, you try to punish me by either pressure my shield correctly so that I jump so you can punish or so that I roll so you can punish or so that I attempt to punish you while it was safe and you still get the punish. And then you can kill me that way. Um, or you read something else. Like uh, you you have to make... Um, you still just have to outplay me. That's all it is. You know, like you can kill me at yeah. 20 sometimes by just getting a simple read, getting me off stage, maybe just getting one or two reads off stage and I die. Um, and, and sometimes, like, 95% of all my kills are just like, oh, I killed. You know, like, I didn't mean to kill, I just killed. Um... Still very even these two. Here, here we go! Yo, they're finally <laughs> here! Performing for you! If you know the words, you can join oh, into Ubu! Fans together! If you wanna clap, yeah. take you through this mic chan! DK! Ubu! Kong! The leader of the bunch! You know him well! He's got a really big cock! To the point where uh, an up smash will definitely finish it for both players. Well, that was just like such good coverage uh, from Zamba. Such a good sequence for him. Till they need to be so patient here. Gets that drag down, up tilt, and that time. So, there was a little something that he did different. Before he jumped, you know what he did? He took it around. He took it around so that he could back that other way. So, that's at the end of the day going to be a bit of a DI mix up where I'm not even sure if he can react to that in time. But. So, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. I want to see exactly where this happened. Yeah, right, slow it down just a bit here. Yeah, up tilt into. Gets that up tilt. Falco is still facing the front. Okay, all right, and that turn around. This, this right here. This is what was able to get Tilde that stock. Because the last time Zamba DI'd out, he was only able to get that up here, which does not kill. When he got that turn around, he positioned himself in the back here. So that was just beautifully played. Yeah, elastic game for both players. And I think the, te the, the real story of this matchup, specifically in Grand Finals, is the opposite of the last one that we saw in Losers Final. <laughs> it, it has been quite a while, actually. <laughs> it's, it's, throughout, it's been a bit. Throughout pretty, much most of the, uh, throughout pretty much most of the quarantine, he has been living in Florida. And now he's here, back at the Platinum Star Week his home state where he is loved and where he is cherished where he belongs for sure and where he is going to use the crom actually and not the ditty against the young link master in pawn master i should say this is going to be an interesting one folks. yeah it's it's interesting to see how rivers chooses his characters because it's basically what state of the game do you think uh, he's going to be in most of the game and against Young Link, you want to be an advantage against Young Link for as long and get as most get as much out of it as possible. And 
Krom can do that. Krom can do that very well. On top of Diddy's weird matchup spread where he can struggle with some of these. Mm -hmm. Right, getting a little bit too telegraphing. Uh, the moves are getting way too telegraphic. Right, right. Point. You heard me earlier. He's getting a lot of run-up grabs for mining, yeah. you know, just a little too safely. You know, oh, no, I'm fine. Right. I'm okay. And Munez right. comes in with the okie doke. So the, uh, the the battlefield pick, uh, pivotal, pivotal in that matchup because okay. it allowed. Now, while it did give, you know, space, um, it did give space for uh, for Steve to just go ahead and mine and get his resources and everything. But at the same time, it gave Palutena the wherewithal to just be like, okay, what do you approach me? With? Right. 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 And because, like, the approach options were really what? Just side B. And, linear. Like, like, yeah. They were yeah. linear. So it was like, okay, well, this is easy to punch. Right. So now we're in a game three situation. Uh, the zombie coming out. Okay. And small battlefield. Okay. okay. Small battlefield being Yanni's counter. Just run. Oh, shit. Hello. Wait, Hello. Wait, nothing, bro. Oh, oh. Um, mass jump. It would have been the game. Yeah. Okay, great parry. What is he going to do? Oh, oh. that Just, would have been it, I think. Yeah, it definitely would have. With that low. Oh! Wow. wow! That was unexpected. And that's a huge what upset the... coming out. Yeah. Numbers, someone who can often win the whole tournament, losing, I believe, in pools. Yeah, pools winner semis. Yeah. Not even pools winner finals, pools winner semis to Steve. And the tricks from D-Dog right there did not do that the entire set. Comes out with a quick F smash. Yeah, I would have got caught by that. Yeah, I... that was so fast. Yeah. He was there. He just put the block out and just S smashed him. And Steve just, this character's strong. This yeah. character's got such good damage strings, such good kill power. Yeah. And D Dog is able to just utilize the super well. Um, yeah, but it looks like that's going to be the end of uh, our time. It does right look here. like it is the end for the so, most perfect commentary duo. Yeah. So I don't know how they're going to top this, but yeah. perfection I it. Was coming to yeah, he was at 170. Oh, oh, and you tried to punish him for that? Right, and right. Now Chef is getting real privy. Oh, 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 no, no, don't get him. robbed. Not like this. He's gonna you get did robbed. not just get robbed. He's going to get robbed. Oh, no. Hello. Oh, wait, my wait, God. Wait, wait, are wait. you serious? Gonna be able to get back with the go to death. Wait, wait, wait. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> This game three right now, it might not be working out well enough. Beautifully timed air dodge and an even better weight right there. And an even better third weight again on the second barrel pack to avoid the long lingering hitboxes of Robert the Robot. But the double down tilt is going to keep him going. If anything has to say about it, but the jet barrel pack to make his way back again. This is a slobber knocker for the final stock ruble. Yeah, it was a ton of spaghetti. It was a ton of scrap pure and an unadulterated scramble situations with both players nearly ever so slightly getting what they want i mean we can see it in this final situation boost was waiting boost was waiting for the roll but didn't position him